Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Time to take a check of your latest local forecast and trail conditions report. This is brought to you by The Widowmaker. Find them upstairs in the base lodge with a brand new look, and you can find this and much more on all your internet devices at WSKITV.com. We're starting off the morning with some wintry mix out there, which may uh, affect some of the detachable uh, quad chairlifts out there. So you want to pay attention to the uh, mountain report this morning. We'll keep you updated on what's going on out on the hill. 31 to 35 for your summit temperatures, a bit warmer up there than down at the base, 29 to 33. And we'll see a uh, very light breeze out across the hill as well. Saturday looks great, partly sunny skies, summit temperatures in the mid-20s, base temperatures in the lower uh, 30s. So it should be fairly mild and comfortable out there there will be a noticeable breeze from the northwest though so we'll have to uh, keep an eye on that especially very up uh, up at the tippy top of the hill uh, you'll see increasing clouds for the day on sunday with a high of 34 degrees and monday we could see um, start off the day with cloudy skies and then we'll see a chance of some uh, evening snow possibly mixing a bit and then some light snow possibly as temperatures start to fall on Tuesday. Friday, December 27th, we're looking at 43 trails of ski and ride on, 9 lifts, skinny of those runs, 35 trails were on the groomers list last night and we're looking at frozen granular and hard pack conditions. Scheduled grooming, according to Sugarloaf, they were going to be out there last night on Ram Down, Widowmaker, Whiffletree, Slasher, Spurline, as well as Tote Road, King's Landing, Hayburner, uh, Skidder, Comp Hill, Sluice, Spillway, Lower Winter's Way, as well as Scoot over on the west side, Candy Side down lower, and boardwalk the landing and the birches as well as snowbrook to get you back down to your condo stomping grounds is open as well as the mini pipes so go check that out if you're into the parks and pipes the snowmakers were hard at work last night on timberline from top to bottom as well as bridal chain and then up and down the gondola line as well um, as temperatures warm up they'll probably be uh, seizing those operations. First thing this morning, Snubber will get you up to the base lodge. 8.30 Skidway and Sawduster move you around the base area. Double Runner East gets you a little higher on the hill. And if you're just learning to ski or ride, the Muscalator gets going at 9 a.m. to get you up and down the Birch's Slope. Skyline and Super Quad get going at 8.30 alongside Whiffletree and King Pine servicing the east sides of the mountain as well at 8.30 this morning. Fat Biking is in great shape down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. They've got 10 brand new bikes for rental down there. And they've also got uh, cross-country skiing, some snowshoe trails, as well as the Bull Moose Bakery and Cafe with some great eats, as well as the real retail shop. And Fat Bike Trail conditions over across the river off of the Narrow Gauge Pathway. Things are getting icy on the single track, so if you've got studs uh, that is definitely better um, or it's just some real low psi uh, but the narrow gauge should be in great shape Sugarloaf Charity Summit, the Climb for the Cure, is happening tonight, 4.30 at the Super Quad. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on the weather as far as that as well, and we'll have a guest on the live show to check that out and give us some more information. Horse and carriage rides going on today, as well as uh, cookie decorating, game night, movie night, so something for everyone here at Sugarloaf for Christmas Vacation Week. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram, and we're always at our website, WSKITV.com, to know before you go. Owned and operated by Snowfield Productions from 1986. And we want to wish you a happy holidays from all of us here at WSKI TV 17. And want to let you know we got live shows all this week, every single day, except for January 1st. And we'll kick things off January 2nd with Watch and Win.